Welcome to 2.1's Math Moment. Today, students learned about area and perimeter using exponents. Perimeter is the area around the shape. A few of the words that the sixth graders needed to know were around, frame, border, fence. Those words are, are going to indicate perimeter. We also learned about area. Area is a space inside a shape. Words that you need to know that are going to be words like cover, they're going to be carpet, it's going to be tiling, and going all over like with paint. So that's going to be area. For example one, we're going to find the perimeter and the area of the shape below. First of all, I'm going to find the perimeter. When I find the perimeter, I add all of the sides. So this is a square, so I know this is going to be also 42, 42, and 42. This is going to be in feet. So when I add all these up, I'm going to take 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 42. 2, 4, 6, 8 is my bottom. 4, 8, 12, 16, 168 feet. Notice that my answer for perimeter is just in feet. Now to find the area of the square, I'm going to take 42 times 42, because I take the length times the width. So 42 times 42. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Go ahead and put my 0 down for my placeholder, cross off the 2. 2 times 4 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16. When I add these two together, I have 4 plus 0, which is 0. 8 plus 8 is 16, carry my 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, and then I bring down my 1. I've got 1,764, and I'm going to have feet squared. Notice when I have area, I always have feet squared because I'm going to cover the inside. For our next example, we're going to find the area and perimeter of the rectangle below. Same principles are going to apply to the square and the rectangle. So on this side, I've got 12 inches and I've got 33 inches. If I know this side is 12, I know this side is 12 as well. If this side is 33, I know the bottom is 33. Now to find the perimeter, I'm simply going to add. So I have 33 plus 33 plus 12, plus 12. Now some things that uh, students like to do is I like to sometimes just do the 33, plus the 33, and they like to do the 12, and the 12. And they can do that and they can add them all together. Some students prefer just to add all the numbers up. It just kind of depends on what your student likes to do. I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, breakdown of the problem right here. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So I need to take these two numbers that I have, 66 plus 24, which is going to give me 90. When I look at my label, I know I have inches. This is my perimeter, so I'm just going to write down inches. Now to find the area, I'm going to take the length times the width again. So I'm going to take 12 times 33. 33 on top times 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6 my zero down, cross off my two, three times one is three, three times one is three. Now I simply just need to add these two numbers together. Six, nine, and three. Now I need to go ahead and put my label on here. In this case it is inches and I am working with area so I know that this is going to be inches squared. Now there's a couple different ways you can write that. Some students prefer to go I in squared. You can write SQ inches. There's a couple different labels. It's just really important that students know that when they're dealing with area, it's always square. If you have any questions about 2.1, see your math teacher.